Why does the world of mechanical engineering need a virtual prototyping tool? It's simple. It's a tool that can simulate the behavior of mechanical systems, saving time, resources, and potentially a lot of headaches. But how does one go about developing such a tool? Well, it all starts with defining the requirements. What types of mechanical systems will the tool simulate? How detailed should these simulations be? What operating conditions should the tool consider? Next, select a language model. GPT 3.5, for instance, with its strong understanding of natural language, can be an excellent choice for simulating mechanical systems. The following step is data collection and pre-processing. Here, data about mechanical systems, including their components, behaviors, and performance under different conditions, are gathered. This data is then pre-processed to make it suitable for training the language model. Then comes the training of the language model. It's here where the language model is fine-tuned on mechanical engineering-related texts and data sets. This step allows the model to understand the interactions and behaviors of mechanical systems. Afterward, develop a simulation engine. This engine utilizes the trained language model to simulate the behavior of mechanical systems. It takes inputs such as system parameters, operating conditions, and desired outputs, and generates simulations accordingly. Then, integrate the virtual prototyping tool with design software commonly used in mechanical engineering, like CAD software. This allows engineers to incorporate virtual prototyping into their design workflows seamlessly. The next step is validation and testing. Here, validate the virtual prototyping tool by comparing its simulations with real-world data or established analytical models. Test the tool under various scenarios to ensure its accuracy and reliability. The development of a user-friendly interface follows. This interface allows engineers to input parameters, visualize simulations, and analyze results easily. Once the tool is developed, it's time to optimize it for efficiency and scalability. This could involve optimizing algorithms, improving computational speed, or reducing memory usage. The tool also needs documentation and support. This includes user manuals, tutorials, and troubleshooting guides. It's also important to provide ongoing support to users and address any issues or feedback. Finally, deploy and distribute the virtual prototyping tool. This could be as standalone software or as a cloud-based service. It's crucial to have proper distribution channels and licensing agreements in place. But the journey doesn't end here. The tool requires continuous improvement based on user feedback, advancements in language models, and new developments in mechanical engineering. To sum up, developing a virtual prototyping tool is a complex but rewarding process. It involves defining requirements, selecting and training a language model, developing a simulation engine, integrating with design tools, validating and testing, developing a user interface, optimizing for performance, preparing documentation, deploying and distributing, and finally, continuously improving the tool. It's a journey that can revolutionize the way mechanical engineering is done.